Hello and welcome to another Betfred Sports video right here in the Quest Media Network studio. Peter, first of all, I want to take a look at the action at the weekend. City losing 2-1 against Chelsea. Poor performance in the end and, you know, they could have won the title as well. Yeah, you do wonder about some of these changes that Sir Guardiola's doing. Um, if you compare it with uh, Solskjaer at United, he just seems to be making changes for the sake of it. City not playing again until Friday, mm. yet he's changed it all again. Nine changes he made in that team. And that's what happens when the team is disjointed. Um, he brought back the so-called reserves, the, the three amigos, um, Aguero and Sterling, um, to name but two, and Jesu as well. So he brings these three players back. They're not quite match fit. Aguero makes a fool of himself. Uh, a lot of City fans will um, sympathise with that, but really it was a silly penalty. Yeah. I mean, you don't do that. You don't showboat in no. a game like that. You get that penalty in the back of the net. And, and as for that uh, controversy where Jesu crossed it, um, and Aguero of old would have just whacked that straight in, yeah. but he took an extra touch, and that wasn't the greatest touch. And I don't blame Sterling for coming in for that. I blame him for a lot of things, but I wouldn't have blamed you for mm, that. Yeah. It, it, that ball needed to be put in the onion bag, and he most certainly put it in, and they had a, some kind of silly argument afterwards. I could see that going on. Um, I do think, though, I do think a lot of the criticism aimed at Aguero after that game was unjustified. Think about what he's done for the club. Totally over the top, really. Well, yeah, but a player of his um, uh, ability and knowing the sense of the occasion shouldn't have been trying to do something too clever. Mm. Um, it's it's, it's a, something you do when you're winning 5 now. You know, you don't try that. It rarely works. Uh, when it does, you look an absolute superstar and everybody laughs. But the, the odds are that it's not going to work. Mm. Um, so I don't know why he didn't blast it in like he has been doing all season. Since you've got a, an issue with penalties, it's, it's not the first time that a City player has missed. Um, and it's odd that players of that calibre can miss from 12 yards. It's, yeah. it's absolutely nonsense. And I mean, that game was a dress rehearsal for the Champions League final. And I believe that the odds have changed now for that final. Well, I think City, of all the clubs in the country um, and in Europe, that they'd want to play in that final. Chelsea would be right up there. They, they, they just want to avoid them like the plague. Mm. They, they do seem to be becoming a bit of a bogey team. Um, and to lose 2-1 um, isn't doesn't bode well for that final. Um, they've got some excellent players, Chelsea. I'm not yeah. saying they're good as City, but they have got some excellent players. Uh, and the structure now is looking supreme. Mm. And a lot of those Chelsea players would, on form at the moment, challenge the City players to get in a, in a joint team. Um, yeah, you're right. Um, the bet for odds on um, City to win um, the, the Champions League and make club history, of course, they were odds on. Well, they're not anymore. The 21 to 20, so near a damn it, evens um, to win the Champions League. Uh, Chelsea are now three to one to uh, to win. So City are still favourites, but um, the odds have um, have been shortened there on doing that. Um, so United are playing tomorrow, aren't they? Yep, they are. Yep. United are six to four. We bet Fred to to win that game. Leicester two to one, draw nine to four. Leicester's form has been um, inconsistent of late. They've dropped out of the top four of, well, the, of, of the betting. Um, they've slipped to four to six, so they're still odds on to, to get that fourth place. Chelsea will take them one to 33 now for a top four finish. Liverpool will play United in the rearranged game on Thursday. They're 11 to 10 for a top four finish. West Ham 12 to 1 and Everton 20 to 1. Um, Cavani again um, showed his value and I noticed that there's re reports that the, uh, United are going to up his um, salary yeah. and increase the... I think that's, that's a contract. natural response to how good he's been. I think you've yeah. got to do that, you, to yeah. keep him. He's 7-2 to two favourite to score first against um, Leicester. Uh, Ian Acho, he's um, ex of City of course. Um, you do wonder whether... Uh, Pep Guardiola is thinking, could we have given him an, an opportunity to stay? Yeah. Because he looks the uh, the real deal now. He, he has come on. It's has taken a while to reach this uh, level of performance. But he's four to one to score um, first. Uh, Bruno four to one. Greenwood nine to two, and um, Vardy uh, he's nine to two to score first in that. Uh, what should be a, an excellent fixture with so much depending on it. Yep. Uh, United need to win to make sure that City don't lift the title uh, or delay it anyway. Um, Leicester need to win to get themselves back into um, 
a top four um, position. They are fourth now, but to 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 reinforce their um, their battle to uh, finish in fourth place. Yep, they certainly do. But very quickly, just to reflect on United's three-one victory at Villa on Sunday, they came from behind to do that. That's been quite a common trait of United this season, and it, I guess it shows resilience. It does, and it, it also um, plays into how United play on the counter attack. Um, the um, the pace that they show in the last stage of the game, and I've got to say the crafty substitutions by uh, by the manager. Um, I thought Greenwood played well in that game. Um, the way that he uh, forces defenders and turns them on a sixpence and puts it in the back of the net. So I think that uh, he's no longer a prospect. I think he's like the real deal now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll take a look now at the Betfred Challenge Cup quarterfinals, which took place last weekend. The big shock of the weekend, Wigan being knocked out at Hull. Tell us a bit about this, Peter. Yeah, that was the uh, the shock. I'm glad there was a few shots in rugby league because it is important that to, to keep the um, the league and also the cup alive and in people's thoughts. We don't just want the favourites winning all the time. And that didn't happen, um, as you say, in the quarterfinals. It was a win for um, Wigan, um, sorry, a win for Hull at, against Wigan. It was 2010. Um, but the, the other surprising result for me was how well Salford did against Castleford. Um, it was 18 all and it went to um, extra time and Castleford just pips it and with the golden point. So they won 19 18 uh, to go into the um, into the semi finals. And I've got the odds for the semi finals, so the Betfred odds are Saints, they're 11 to 8. They're playing Hull in the semi finals. Um, Warrington 11 to 4, they're playing against Castleford. Um, Castleford five to one to be outright winners of the Challenge Cup, and Hull are three to one. Excellent stuff there. Well, just to recap, looking ahead to this week's football fixtures on Tuesday night, we've got United taking on Leicester, and then two days later, United host Liverpool in that rearranged fixture, and then on Friday night, Manchester City travel to Newcastle United. And if you fancy a punt on any of these fixtures, don't forget Betfred stores are now open with safety provisions in place, but you can also bet online and via their app.